the Weber Fish Ladder at the Weber Dam site on the Grand River near Portland. We're working with our partners to propagate snuffbox mussels, which are an endangered species under the Endangered Species Act. The Grand River is a stronghold for snuffbox, one of 43 species of mussels in Michigan. The neat thing about native freshwater mussels is that they're really efficient filter feeders. So they will be filtering contaminants out of the water. They're taking all those chemicals and keeping them in their bodies. And then when they die, instead of releasing them into the water column like a zebra mussel does when it dies, they're actually burrowing it into the bottom. This is a very exciting proposition for the employees at Consumers Energy. We're on the river using the power of the Grand River to produce clean, renewable energy. This fish ladder was constructed in the late 70s, early 80s as part of the Grand River uh, Migratory Fish Project. It allows steelhead and salmon to ascend the river during their spawning runs. The goal for the day is to place log perch, which are the host fish for snuffbox mussels, into cages and then place those cages in the ladder where we'll propagate the mussels for the next 16 months. Behind us we have our research trailer which has got little aquaculture tanks set up and there's log perch in those and we have snuff box on the gills of those fish. The snuff box has evolved a way that it actually lures the fish down to it and traps the fish in between its two shells while it's pumping these microscopic glochidae onto the fish, releasing that fish it then gets to move up and down the stream so that all the snuff box don't stay in one area. And today we're taking those fish from the tanks and then setting them up in cages which are in the fish ladder down below us. By propagating these mussels and releasing them, hopefully we'll increase the population and assist toward the recovery of snuff box. This project would not happen without well the strong partnerships that we have with Central Michigan University, the United States Fish and Wildlife Service, Ionia Conservation District, and Consumers Energy.